Be John Marshall. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. So you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind, Miss Vance. Oh, no. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Are 
you ain't really talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. no black border fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. He was out in Blackwater a few months back and sold one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing ye ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. 
bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. from me, Miss McFarland. Drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. 